a number of ways you can do the um, first one. You might know the answer, uh, but if not, I suggest you write out what I call factor pairs. So we'll start with number 24. 1 times 24 um, gives me 24. 2 times 12 gives me 24. 3 times 8. And 4 times 6. Then look at 30. So 30 comes from 1 times 30. 2 times 15. 3 times 10 and 5 times 6. So these are all the factor pairs. So look into both sets and you'll see that the number 6 occurs in both. So 6 is our highest common factor. Now for the lowest common multiple, the technique I recommend you use is to multiply the numbers, but before you do that, divide out by any number that goes into um, all of them or a pair of them. Now you can see that 2 goes into 4 and 6. So if we divide through by the 2, we will find the lowest common multiple. So 2 goes into 4 twice. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 6 is 60. So 4, 5 and 6 have lowest common multiple of 60. You could have done this um, by writing out the multiples of 4, multiples of 5, multiples of 6, but it would have taken considerably longer to get that answer. So I do suggest you use this technique where you multiply your numbers together and divide by any factor of any pair. So the highest common factor I found was the 2 that went into 2 and 6. Hope that helped.